An exponential equation is an equation that contains a variable in the exponent. For example, in the equation 2 to the 3x plus 5 equals 16, the variable x is in the exponent. To solve all four equations in this video, we will use the following property. If b to the power of x equals b to the power of y and b is not equal to 1, then x equals y. So if in an equation we can write both sides as a power of the same base, then we can set the exponents equal to each other and then we can solve for the variable. In other words, if the base is the same on both sides, then the exponents will be equal. Now let's try this property on the equation below. On the left side we have 2 raised to an exponent and now we need to ask, can we write 16 as base 2 raised to an exponent? And the answer is yes, because we can write 16 as 2 to the 4th power. Then on the left side we will have 2 to 3x plus 5. And on the right side we will have 2 to the 4th power. And now according to the property above, if the bases are the same, then the exponents will be equal. So from here we will work with the exponents and we will say that 3x plus 5 equals 4. To solve this equation for x, first we will subtract 5 from both sides. Then on the left side 5 and negative 5 will cancel and we will have 3x and on the right side 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Now we will divide both sides by 3 and x will be equal to negative 1 over 3. Now let's see the next equation. Here we have 5 to the x plus 2 over 3 equals 1 over square root of 5. So on the left side we see the base 5 and now let's see if we can rewrite the right side also using the base 5. In the first step we will write square root of 5 as 5 to the exponent 1 half. So on the left side we will have 5 to the x plus 2 over 3 and on the right side we will have 1 over 5 to the exponent 1 half. In the next step we will move this expression up to the numerator and this exponent will become negative. Then we will have 5 to the x plus 2 over 3 equals 5 to the negative one half. So when we move an expression from the denominator to the numerator or from the numerator to the denominator, the exponent changes the sign. And now we have the same base on both sides and this means that these exponents are equal. So from here we will work only with the exponents and we will write that x plus two over three equals negative one over two. To solve this equation I will use cross multiplying. So first I will multiply x plus 2 by 2, then 3 by negative 1. So we will have 2 times x plus 2 equals 3 times negative 1. On the left side I will use the distributive property and 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 2 is 4, and on the right side, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Now let's subtract 4 from both sides and we will have 2x equals negative 7. Then we will divide both sides by 2 and we will get that x equals negative 7 over 2. So here we have the solution and now let's move to the next problem. Here we have 2 to the x plus 4 equals 8 square root of 2. So on the left side we have the base 2 raised to the x plus 4 and now let's see if we can create the same base on the right side. First we know that we can write 8 as 2 to the third power. We can also write square root of 2 as 2 to 1 half. And now on the right side we have a product of two expressions that have the same base 
and this means that we can apply the product rule and add the exponent. So on the left side, we will bring down 2 to the x plus 4, and on the right side, keep the base the same and just add the exponent, 3 plus 1 half. We can also rewrite this as 2 to the x plus 4 equals 2, 2, 3, and 1 half. And now, once we have the same base on both sides, then we will make these exponents equal. So then, x plus 4 equals 3 and a half. To get x, we will subtract 4 from both sides. Then on the right side, 3 and a half minus 4 is negative half. So this is the solution. And now let's see the last equation. Here we have 27 to the power of x equals cube root of 3. Notice that we can write the right side as 3 to the exponent 1 over 3. And this is because we are applying this definition. The nth root of a equals a to 1 over n's power. So on the right side of this equation, we will have 3 to 1 over 3. Now notice that on the left side, we can write 27 as 3 cubed. Then, if in place of 27 we write 3 cubed, then we will have 3 cubed to the x power. Then here we will apply the power rule, and that is, when we have an exponential expression that is raised to a power, then these two exponents will be multiplied. This will give us 3 to the 3x equals 3 to 1 over 3. And now, if the bases are the same, then the exponents are also the same. Then from here, let's make the exponents equal and solve for x. And now to find x, we will divide the left side by 3. And because on the right side we have a fraction, instead of dividing by 3, we will multiply by 1 over 3. Then 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 is 1 over 9. So then here we have the solution to the last equation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.